Welcome to this Widex e-learning tutorial on fine-tuning in Compass GPS. Compass GPS offers you a wide range of adjustment possibilities in the fine-tuning. To demonstrate the possibilities available under fine-tuning, we have used two Widex Dream 440 Fusion hearing aids with factory preset data in a binaural fitting situation. Options may vary depending on the hearing aid model selection. In the fine-tuning window, you can adjust the gain and features of the standard listening programs. When you open the fine-tuning window, it shows the program settings for the selected program. The default graphic is the output versus frequency view. You can, however, select other graphic views by clicking Views. Below are shown various explanations of the graphics. You can add programs to the hearing aids under the Program Manager and see the number of programs the hearing aid can contain. The added programs are now shown in the Program Starter at the top of the navigation bar. To fine-tune the various programs, click on the icons. The listening programs are linked to the master program. Changes made for the master program will apply to these programs as well. If you want to change the gain settings of a selected program only, make the adjustments and the program will be automatically unlinked from the master program. Click the Gain Settings tab if you want to adjust the amplification for different frequency regions and input levels. By deselecting the binaural adjustment symbol, you can make changes to the hearing aids one at a time. You can choose whether you wish to display four basic bands in the hearing aids or the maximum number of bands. The four basic gain settings are split into three horizontal areas, showing the insertion gain settings for soft, normal, and loud sounds. It is also possible to adjust several parameters simultaneously. For example, by left-clicking and holding down the left mouse button while dragging the mouse over the frequency boxes. To select all fields, use the Select All button before changing the values. The target values of the gain setting deriving from the sensogram measurements can be shown by clicking the Target button. If you want to recalculate the fine-tuning, select the Reset function. Select the Feature Settings tab if you want to change the settings of some of the special features in the hearing aids. To decide how the microphones should work, select the Microphone Mode. The default setting is marked with a Compass GPS icon. This icon indicates that the feature is an inter-ear functionality. Select the Speech and Noise Mode drop-down list to change the settings for how speech and noise are handled. To adjust the settings for how sudden loud impulse sounds are treated, select Impulse Sound Mode. To adjust how acoustic feedback should be handled, select the Feedback Cancelling Mode. Here, in the left navigation bar, you can access More Tools. Acclimatization helps the user to get accustomed to the amplified sound by gradually increasing the gain in all programs until the full prescribed gain is reached. The automatic acclimatization feature is turned on by default at level 2. To define the duration of each level, select an interval in the drop-down list. The gain automatically increases according to the selected period. If you prefer, you can control the level changes manually by selecting Manual. You can deactivate the acclimatization feature by deselecting Acclimatization Active. It is also possible to use the acclimatization feature monorally. Make the adjustments for the right or left ear. The Audibility Extender makes it possible for a user with high-frequency hearing loss to obtain access to the high frequencies. The inaudible frequency regions are transposed into the audible frequency regions. When you open the AE, 
you are automatically taken to the master program. Here, in Selected Programs, you can turn on the feature for specific programs or for all programs in the hearing aids. In the graphics, the gray area shows the frequency range of the transposed signal in the AE. To change the start frequency and frequency range, click the Settings tab. You can also change the overall gain for the transposed signal. The settings will affect all programs with applied AE. To demonstrate additional programs with the AE applied, click the program icons below Demonstrate. The MPO Manager allows you to change the maximum power output levels of the hearing aid. You can see the target MPO value in dBHL in the basic frequency bands, and you can also see the current MPO values referenced to dBSPL. Use the MPO lock to adjust the values in the four frequency bands. Activate a field and use the arrow buttons to change the settings to the desired level. The adjustments made to the MPO manager will affect all programs defined in the hearing aid. You can also choose whether automatic output control should be on or off in the hearing aids. With some hearing aids, you can also choose the AOC profound setting for severe hearing losses. Notice the frequency range for the transpose signal in the audibility extender. Remember, you can use Compass Help to get more information. Just select the question mark icon in the upper right corner.